50% of the emissions coming out of the services industry comes from buildings. And so the question is, how could we flip this model so that the city and its consumption of resources is actually forest restorative, climate restorative, and also meets the huge growing demands. How do we create investment strategies which are not point interventions or point investments, but system investments that recognize potential symbioses between human activities, protecting the construction sector activity, and forest restoration, and with it, climate restoration? It's not a well-known fact that in 2021, that's two years ago, the amount of investment in clean energy exceeded for the first time the amount of investment in fossil fuel. There's no physical reasons why buildings should not be carbon sinks and be increasing biodiversity. It's the entire building life cycle starting with the extraction of raw material and ending with some multiple life cycle of materials in the building sector, waste. There are so many opportunities at any of those points. What we want to do as well is accelerate what we call conversion of buildings. So instead of going for new builds, we want to focus on buildings that already exist and turn them into hotels. Real estate is the world's largest asset class, as you framed it, but it's also the world's largest product category. In the way that we already see the built environment with nature embraced design, with sustainability as this new trend. The pace of innovation in battery chemistry is extraordinary. We also have answers on how to get to net zero. We can apply cement to carbon capture and storage. We will be able to move our shipping fleets away from heavy fuel oil to ammonia or methanol. We will be able to build uh, aviation, sustainable aviation fuel.